लॉर्ड <laughs> but what exactly is Pyrcon? Pyrcon is basically a multi gender fan convention for all kinds of people. There is plenty of things happening like concerts. Fighting shows. Fire shows. Lectures, various contests, meeting publishers of books or games,
and other nerdy stuff like this, including whipsheets that I am shamelessly interested in. I can't be bothered at explaining every section because there is many of them. My favorite thing about this event is seeing all kind of people being in one place and doing questionable things together and having a good time. This is the only place where you can casually see there are god GFs or bronies with only the Kimakuras, dudes just as like Kiraito or even foolish walking in their costumes despite its 30 degrees of sight. Welcome visitors are split into a few groups, 30% whips, 30% metalheads, 30% sci-fi and fantasy freaks, 10% certified gamers, military enthusiasts, also people who aren't even sure why they're here. Time of Pircon is the only time when I actually get excited to leave my chamber. Make sure to not drop your entry tickets somewhere otherwise you're pretty much fucked. If security won't notice 100 entry tickets on you, they will kick you out. You will lose 34 euro we paid for ticket and more importantly, your chance to meet a Stolfo in real life. This year I wanted to do something new and try cosplaying as well. Maybe because I have watched very certain awesome anime to stay in my head for long because my taste is an enigma. So I decided to cosplay the most questionable based protagonist of a game that died a month after its release. Chuck fucking Garland. Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. What is Final Fantasy Origins Strangers to Paradise? Honestly, just watch the very first trailer of the game that absolutely explains everything you need to know. Why is Jack Garland the most based character? Just look this simple cutscene. Bullshit. Right after arrival, there was an unusual issue like never before. Something that was always present since the very first event was removed this time, and it's a huge game changer. I'm talking about the sleeping area. Up to this event, right after getting entry ticket, your first goal was to find not taken spot the sleeping area, claim it, leave your bugger there, then go exploring or whatever. For some reason this time sleeping anywhere in the area was forbidden. Since it's a free day event, that was fucking brutal. Especially when I wanted to rest after the absolutely worst train ride of my life. Quickly about the train. Super! I've never seen the train this crowded in my life before. Obviously, all is taken, so I have to stay all the way to Kuzman at that train doorstep next to a guy built like a brick wall. With every station, people were just coming and coming to the point I couldn't move. I felt multiple people grab on my neck. What saddens me is that area where sleeping zone used to be was completely wasted this year. I was passing by at any time of the day, it was almost empty every time. The 
there is something that needs to be pointed out. This year a big chunk of wall area was cut due to renovation. And like two buildings were just crossed off. Seemingly they had to cramp all the stuff to other areas which ended up weird. At night concert was placed right next to DJ stage and they ended up interrupting each other. Since I arrived late in Poznan, I've been missed lecture about Morbius, the movie ever released. At like 2 p.m., if I remember correctly, they opened one of the main attractions to people, the marketplace. Look at the script. See how crowded it was. Weirdly, this year they didn't have many interesting goods, at least for me. All I saw was Genshin. It was everywhere. Passing through Genshin posters, postcards, to Genshin mystery boxes, to Genshin accessories, to even Genshin body pillows. I understand Genshin was popular with holy shit. What about Genshin cosplayers? Boy, it was a swarm. Look at this. I did expect Genshin cosplayers indeed, but that was far beyond my expectation. Regardless goods, I was looking for something Honkai, puzzle and even L shit related, but no goods at all. I only spent money on food, breakfasts, lunches, dinners, always at different restaurants. I couldn't record outside due to the insane sun. Also because of it, I've missed taking photos of you amazing cosplayers around like Akagi, Riku, or even Lady, something something, Mami Wilkers, or Resident Evil. I saw plenty of rare cosplayers, who since I was so tired after the train ride, I planned to bother about them next day. Yet that was not the most pleasant idea, because I couldn't see them on day two. Made me realize since there is no sleeping allowed, people only took one day tiger.
エンタープライズ先輩の At midnight of the first day, I was tired and thinking about some sneaky sleep. My first lecture I entered was about Kinshi. I planned to take a nap on it since I don't give a damn about the game. I couldn't sleep because I got interested in the topic. It was very, very detailed lore about the ride and shogun. Do you know she has butterfly pattern on her panties? I don't remember what it represents anymore, but it's a sure good thing to know. When lecture ended, it was over 2 am. Eventually, we went on Spy X Family Marathon the fight. I already seen the war show. We had to get some sleep, but the staff asked us all not to. If I remember correctly, it ended at late 5 am. With this, transitioning to the next day. All I care about is seeing Chaos dead. Some minor plans this day. 
After breakfast, I went to Sony Nintendo shop nearby. As expected, they didn't have stuff for all their generation consoles. Till 10 am, everything was incredibly empty. I never seen Pilcon like this before. At the beginning of the next day, for 20 of hours, I was bored. What's worse, I was pretty much out of energy to keep roaming the area. What's even worse, later that day I got wound on my feet and had issue with walking. Come on, I had the same shoes on for over 24 hours, I had to survive like this next day and a half. I've worked out all the calories I've gained from trash food I've eaten all those 7 days. Here they come! I had lecture coming on 2 pm. Guess what was about it? Yes, Genshin. Continuation of last night's lecture. This time discussing the meaning of the other character designs. Because of it, I accidentally missed meeting with Polish VTubers that I never heard of. the worst thing about this place. 10k people and just like 10 toilets. Like two hours later there was yet another lecture, basically meeting with the coordination teams of various manga distributors in country. Later something beautiful happened. I ain't gonna interrupt this beautiful experience. Every time something happens, I act like Kiryu when he's having a revelation. Hmm? I have so many clips of sitting somewhere in this area. My legs felt like they were about to fall off. There was no further interesting lectures, next one was at 2 am. Majority of the day felt just boring. I felt too tired to participate in things.
This is so thick I can taste it. I remember waiting for 2 a.m. to do the Jujitsu Kaisen Marathon. I was looking forward to it. After episode 2 or 3, I still could pass it out from the chair. Stop, stop at bothering waking us up in the morning because the situation was getting quiet and people were just fainting on the chairs. I woke up at episode 9, I think. It was like 5 a.m. again. Marathon was going yet. I decided to leave. As always, day 3 was very short. Clearly that was easily the worst beer con so far I've been on. Being very honest, it was so poor even rewatching my clips didn't make me feel very happy for the next one. Sitchi's lack of sleep, cruising legs, personally unattractive merch, insane heat. The baby thing, on Birkon era I was charged at 6 PLN for regular 500ml bottled water. Meanwhile, in literally every single shop outside of Birkon, I could get 2 liters one for below 3 PNL. They did really make at people this hard when the sun was a deadly laser. Since it was Sunday 5 pm, every restaurant was closed and only option available was McDonald's that I am not a fan of. I might be trying new things so the next event is just standing by and recording anything that moves. Maybe I should invest in a cheap GoPro to keep my hands not busy. If that will happen, at least I need to remember to hold my phone horizontally when recording. I don't know if I will bother cosplaying next year as well. If yes, I do have few ideas who I might be cosplaying as. After I just wanted to visit the marketplace for the one final time. And it was worth it, I dare say, since I didn't left empty handed. I was avoiding taking photos in market due to crowds, but I couldn't skip the scanner. At 12 pm, the only thing left is getting to station. At about 3 pm, I was home. Instantly went to sleep for a few hours. I had first shifts of work coming for the next day. Usually waking up before 5 pm, like a true Sigma man. About absolutely best thing that happened at on Birkon. Remember that lady Goro Majima, who upon encounter something magical happened. After taking photos, she was like, Hi man, can you share something for me? It's a job application, I started a company. I was confused, what I wanted to happen with. She gave me this, and I lost my shit. This is the most important piece of paper I will ever get, and I will treasure it to the end of my days. This is more important than my birth certificate. 
also quick thanks to Tessie and Mura for not designing Jack t-shirt black as he usually does. I would melt if it was that way. Anyway, I rate it for 3 years out of 10. I will just leave in hope. They will revoke this shit in no sleeping crew and that's it. Thanks for watching. I am always busy nowadays, editing its last bit of my free time only have. Very well.